So you guys know I'm pretty high maintenance when it comes to skincare and makeup. I know subscribers have been asking me to review more drugstore brands. You guys stay tuned for the next week and I'm going to see how I do on $100 at Walmart. Hey guys, so it's uh, night time again and uh, I don't know if you can see this, but my poor uh, neck got super dry today. Uh, and it was feeling drier earlier and I'm assuming it's from the routine although my neck is always pretty dry so um, I think I'm gonna allow myself to add one thing in at the end to help seal everything in uh, but anyway so I took a shower and I uh, cleansed with the simple uh, micellar gel cleansing wash Uh, so I did that, and then uh, I didn't dry my face at all. It was wet. I just let it kind of air dry, I guess, until I was uh, dressed and done with my uh, body lotion. So now I'm going to uh, wipe off with a uh, cleansing wipe with the Meissler uh, cleanser that's from the Simple brand, uh, this guy. So just to make sure there's any uh, extra debris or dirt or residue from uh, anything on there. Uh, you want to get every last uh, bit of trace of makeup, bit of sunscreen, mascara, eyeshadow, anything. You really want to get it off before you go to bed at night, uh, especially if you have acne prone skin or sensitive skin. Uh, I know like if you leave sunscreen on or makeup or a little bit of primer or foundation on, you go to bed, you roll around in it and well, I guess you don't roll around in it, but, you know, you're tossing and turning, your head's on the pillow. It just makes it more potential for breakouts to happen. So it's very, very important. That's usually when somebody says they have acne-prone skin, I always ask them, are you using a toner or a micellar cleanser with a cotton pad or some type of pad just to make sure you get every drop of residue off. And generally, a lot of people say, no, I didn't even think about that. Or another thing could be uh, what shampoo you're using. Sometimes that can affect it. So anyway, so thing got pretty darn clean and I'm pretty impressed with uh, the simple brand. So uh, anyway, so then I'm going to see now I'm trying to itch it because it's so dry. Then I'm going to go with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost and kind of just slather that everywhere. Not in my eye. Does not feel good in my eye. But yeah, today I'm definitely noticing the dryness kind of taking place which uh, I think it's just from not enough moisture. You probably need something that's a bit thicker, which is what I'm gonna do at the very end of this on my neck because it's getting so dry that I don't want it to get red or cracked. It's already starting to get kind of red and scaly. So it's not even winter time in Minnesota. Uh, yeah, there's no way I, could, I don't think I could do the Walmart $100 challenge in the middle of winter. Because in the middle of winter in Minnesota, it's like negative 30 out, you need like 80 moisturizers. And even then, you can still get very dry. I'm gonna wipe this over my eyes. My eyes area is a little dry too, so there we go. You know what, my skin just feels better right now. Oh, There we go. Okay, got that pretty much absorbed. I like that. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of the uh, Simple Rich Moisturizer. Yeah, you know what's interesting? I keep spending time thinking about it. What could I, what would I redo if I had like another hour and another hundred dollars? What would I not get from this time? What would I decide to splurge on and what would I not even pick up so I think a very thick cream maybe like from CeraVe or something would have helped with these moisturizers because these are great but they're just not uh, they just don't do quite enough to fully hydrate everything actually I'm gonna apply this on my neck too but you know, for the first like three days, my skin wasn't getting dry. It was actually seeming to be like less dry than normal. I just felt like my skin was a little dull those days, but I didn't feel the dryness like I do today. So I don't know, maybe it's like allergies or something. Okay. That 
feels much, much better. And then I'm just going to uh, end with a little oil. And you know what? Maybe I won't cheat. Maybe I'll just make sure I get more oil in my neck area to help seal in all the other layers of moisturizer underneath. I think that's what I'm going to do. So this is the Shea Moisture uh, Coconut Oil. Definitely going to get that super, super dry. So that's the Shea Moisture, sorry, <laughs> uh, Daily Hydration Overnight Face Oil. Sorry, you can't see it again. There we go. Uh, it's got a pretty minimal list of ingredients. I'm trying to think. A lot of coconut oil, obviously. Uh, I'm trying to, I thought there's a little bit of fragrance in here, but now I'm not even seeing it on the list. So there is no, for there must not be. Okay, well, that's a good thing. I swear I saw fragrance on there. Okay, whatever. I might be losing my mind. I'll take a couple more drops of that. And just make sure I got my neck, and then hopefully by the morning time, uh, it'll be back to being just slightly dry, not completely dry. So, well, there we go. I saved myself like an hour in the bathroom, so I think I'm uh, ready for kind of bedtime now. So. Uh, anyway, I guess I will see you guys in the morning and uh, check out the playlist and you can see me before the morning even comes. Well, technologically, yeah. And so click on the playlist link below and check out nobsbeauty.com and thank you guys so much. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, so good morning everyone. Uh, I know you guys will be watching this soon, and today is the day the Sephora sale started for Rouge members. So, uh, anyway, so I had to wake up and do my order, and now I'm getting ready, and I'm probably going to run to a Sephora JCPenney to see if they've got anything different than, uh, sometimes they have kits that are awesome, so, anyway. So, anyway, so I'm going to do a quick routine today, and, uh... Okay, so I'm going to rinse my face off like usual. Although if you have normal or oily skin, you might want to wash it. Sometimes I use a, a cleansing oil if I use the one like a mask or something the night before. But Usually this is all I need to get going in the morning is just rinsing my face. Okay, there we go. Got that going. I curled my hair. Doesn't look nice. Uh, anyway, so I always shower at night. So that's because then my hair is dry and I don't have to dry it. So I always just rinse my face off. I know there's a lot of people that ask, you know, should you wash your face in the morning? Do you need to? I, you know what? I just rinse it. Usually it gets everything off that's kind of accumulated and it does a decent job just rinsing things off. So that's works for me, but it just depends on what works for you. Uh, and if you don't have very dry skin, you probably don't worry about overly drying your skin. So, uh, anyway, going with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Let me recenter my camera. I feel like it focuses better if I'm smiling. I don't know why, but Anyway, I always do that if I go to the airport and I hand them my driver's license. I'm like, see, I'm the same person because I'm smiling in real life and I'm smiling in the picture. Okay. And I had weird dreams again last night, but now I can't remember what the heck they were. I, I always have really weird dreams. Anyway. Oh, now I kind of remember. I had another dream that I was on a boat, but I was like shark, fishing for sharks and looking for sharks. But we couldn't find any. And then the sharks were like able to like jump on like really close. Like if you're standing like on the shore, the sharks were like able to jump out of the water and like grab you on shore and pull you in. 
or like if you were like on a dock, they could jump off and pull you in, which I maybe they can do in real life. I don't know. I've never seen like a great white shark in real life, but I've tried to find them because my dad's obsessed with seeing one in real life, but we went into the cage and uh, never saw any three for three trips. The last trip was in Australia. Uh, where was it? Off the coast of Port Lincoln? Not my dog. Port Lincoln in Australia. And uh, we looked and looked and we didn't find any that whole day. And then uh, lately there's been like things popping up on my phone, I guess, if you look into something. Uh, so like the last couple times, like shark sighted off of Port Lincoln. It's like been in the paper like three, four times in the last couple weeks now which is almost a year to the date that we went to look. So, and then what was the other island? There's an island out there that, Prince Island, what the heck, uh, anyway, whatever. So anyway, so basically where we were now, there's sharks everywhere and everyone's seen them and we never got to see any. We looked in San Francisco, there's a trip there, didn't see any, we went there twice. What's that island in Australia where they keep seeing the sharks? Joe, what? Neptune Island. Anyway. So I kind of think that's why I keep having dreams about sharks. Anyway. So, okay. So I applied the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Pretty good. My neck is still dry, but not as dry as it was uh, yesterday. Uh, then I'm going to just apply a little bit of this. Simple, rich, uh, replenishing moisturizer. And I usually just apply it in areas I tend to get more dry, which is my T-zone, ironically. There we go. Neptune Island. Someday I'll see a shark. As long as it doesn't eat me, I'm, I'll be okay with it. I don't know. Everything this morning seems to be extra dry. Well, I think it's probably because of the weather. I don't know, it's supposed to snow again in Minnesota, possibly this weekend. I'm just, like, done with winter. There we go. Although the sun is out a little bit, but the wind is super cold. So, I don't know. It's almost May, and if we get snow, I'm going to be disappointed. Okay, so now... I'm going to go with the disappointing Physician's Formula Facial Brightening Oil Stick with SPF 30. Oh, I really dislike it. Part of me is like, oh, I don't even want to do it. I don't want to apply it because it's just gross. It smells gross. It feels gross. <sighs> kind of want to ask for a... Uh, special rule that I can cheat today, but I'm just going to grin and bear it. I hate it. I do feel like this is kind of clogging my pores too. Because my pores just aren't, aren't what they normally are. They're like bigger and they're just not happy. And I think it's because I don't have an alpha hydroxy acid that I get to use and I don't have retinol really that I get to use and the sunscreen stick is disgusting. Ugh. Yuck. But you know what? It's better than getting wrinkles. Maybe. I don't know. Well, it is. It's better than getting wrinkles. But when you're like in the disgustness of applying this, uh, you know what I think? Ah, wrinkle, I don't care. But you know what? In five days... If I didn't apply this, I noticed it wrinkle, and I'd be like, I should have applied that, even though it feels disgusting and yuck, oily, greasy. I don't know. Don't ever buy this. It's so... Ugh. It's just unelegant, unesthetically pleasing. And if you have oily skin, I think you'd probably hate it even more. Okay, so there we go. I think I'm going to skip the Wet n Wild Dewy Skin Primer today. Uh, no specific reason why, but I just... 
I just want to skip it because I plan to go into the Sephora store and I just don't want to be looking overly shiny, overly greasy. I don't know. So now I'm going to apply the Revlon Candid Foundation, which I really like. And I'm going to rinse off my Beauty Blender. Rinsing off the Beauty Blender. did a pretty good job of quasi cleaning it yesterday okay so actually I think this applies nicely without the wet n wild primer I think the wet n wild primer probably would be much better if I wasn't applying it over that disgusting brightening oil stick Okay, there we go. Oh, that foundation still looks good even though I didn't apply it over the primer that I've been applying it over the last several days. I think it still looks really good. Looks natural. I just wish it had sunscreen in it, but it doesn't, so. Now I'm gonna clean my beauty blender with my Kleenex. That's how I clean it. I just squeeze, try and squeeze out all of the makeup out of it. That's my version of cleaning it, which is probably why the beauty blenders last me like five years. Okay. And then I'm also weird. I always wipe off any foundation or moisturizer that gets on my lips. So I don't have any taste. And I also use the, the uh, Kleenex to wipe off my palette. Then I also use it to dry my countertop. So that Kleenex gets used like 10 times. I don't know. My mom was always very cheap about a lot of things. Like she would reuse Ziploc bags. She would wear socks with holes in them. Even though she could more than afford a billion new pairs of socks. Lincoln! Okay, so now I'm going to apply the e.l.f. Sheer Tin Finishing Powder, which is slightly disappointing. Okay. But, you know, it looks natural, so. Well, my skin is, a, it's still dry, but it's a lot less dry than it was yesterday. So, I've got that going for me. Okay. And then I'm going to apply the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which I cannot pronounce. Butter bronzer in the shade called bronzer. That's the shade name is bronzer. I guess everyone needs the same bronze color, right? If it's called bronzer. It does have a weird uh, scent to it. I don't know. It's a bit of a chemical, chemical sunless tanner beach sandy smell. I don't know. I'm going to apply the blush, which is in the shade Natural Glow. Hi, Lincoln! Lincoln, come say hi. Come here. Oh, you might like the scent of this. Come on. Hang on, Lincoln. Okay. You guys see Lincoln? There he is. Hi! Goodbye. Okay. Lincoln, you're such a good boy. We gotta get you some breakfast. Okay. Here goes the little bit of the blush. I don't apply much, just a very small amount. Because then I tend to go a little bit wild with the highlighter. Which is in the shade called Pearl. There we go. And then I always use my Dollar Elf brush to kind of blend them all together a little bit. Okay, and then I'm almost done. I'm getting like fast at this. My morning routine used to take me 45 minutes and now it takes me like 10. Okay. So then I've got the 
eyeshadow duo and I just noticed I have like little fallout everywhere. Hey Rankin! What's up? Oh, he loves anything with the scent. Hi Rankin. Don't let dad see this. He's gonna get in trouble. But you're such a good boy. I know, he just loves the smell of anything good. Thinking, what's wrong, honey? Okay, and then my eyeshadow and I'm almost done. And you know what? I think I'm just going to skip the e.l.f. mascara today because it's uh, all effort and no payoff. It's uh, too disappointing to deal with, so I will just go without mascara today, which is okay once in a while. There we go. So I think I'm good for the day. So now I'm going to go try and save my money, spend a little, but save more. So anyway, uh, to see my video tonight, uh, check out the playlist or to check out yesterday's thing, check out the playlist or to check out the intro, check out the playlist. Uh, and uh, thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in a little bit.